What's up Pisces? How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. This is going to be your bonus love reading for mid-May into mid-June. Thank you guys for all your likes, your comments. You guys are awesome. Tons of views on the Pisces channel. So thank you guys for sharing and getting it out there. If you guys want a reading, then you can look in the about section and everything's listed in there. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on with you guys mid-May into mid-June. What does Pisces need to hear? Mid-May into mid-June. Pisces, mid-May into mid-June. All right, Pisces, bottom of the deck, Four of Cups. So with the Four of Cups, that's like a lot of focus on this love situation that you have going on. Whether it's someone you're interested in, even if you're single, it's like you guys are really focused on this right now. The Four of Cups can be about somebody who is trying to find balance. They're not necessarily focused on getting into a hardcore relationship at this point. So we'll see how this applies to you guys. But Fours, you know, that's about stability. I think some of you need some patience. Especially with Temperance here. Queen of Pentacles, that's an Earth sign. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That was popping up for you guys a lot in the past. Temperance and the Two of Swords. So, for those involved with an Earth sign, there's patience that's needed. There's a, there's a decision with the Two of Swords. Hasn't been made yet. Very slow-moving energy. So, somebody... Maybe coming to a decision sometime May into June. This could be you needing to find equilibrium and balance, especially with temperance, before making a decision. There's the stuck energy with the Eight of Swords. So if someone's not making a decision, you have the Tower energy coming in and strength is going to be needed. So we'll start clarifying with this Queen of Pentacles. Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. The Queen of Pentacles, again, like the males, slow-moving energy. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles for Pisces. I don't see this being a month for a lot of movement with you guys. Maybe towards June or the end of June. Again, this is going into mid-June, but it can go past mid-June tower situation coming in so for those that have been going through a long process stuck energy this earth sign may have been hurt in the past really working on healing healing disappointments healing sadness healing frustration so they may be going through this process right now with temperance especially that is all about healing so it's a definite possibility that there's an earth sign that's in need of healing. This also can be you guys. You guys may need to nurture yourselves, work on your healing. With this two of swords here, you need to find a balance, an equilibrium before making a decision to move forward, whether it's with somebody 
or if you're in a relationship and you're not sure whether you want to be in it anymore. Why is the Two of Swords here for Pisces? Yeah, there's like the ending of a cycle, Pisces, with the Ten of Swords. The Tens are about endings, painful endings. So some of you really may need to end a situation that's just not serving you. With this Four of Cups here, you're just really focused on it. You're putting all your thought into it. It's like semi-depression in a sense. You know, you guys have to get yourselves out of that. I think for some of you, it's some self-defeating thoughts. Nurture yourself. If this is involving an earth sign, I think they may be going through a healing process. This could be their energy, not necessarily yours. However, this resonates with you, but there may be some kind of painful ending they have to go through. And it could be ending this heartbreak. They may be really focused on that, especially with the Eight of Pentacles. They've been stuck, Eight of Swords energy, stuck and bound. But you have the tower here. Clarify the tower. What's going on with the tower for Pisces? These two popped up. Five of Pentacles, Justice. So somebody here is definitely dealing with a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of sadness, feeling left out in the cold. Justice is here to balance it. And that's the tower. There's gonna be a tower moment here. Some of you may have already gone through a tower moment. The tower isn't necessarily one moment. That can be multiple occurrences coming through. It could be a buildup for one big explosion. The tower is just like a situation that is falling apart, no longer serving you. So for some of you, definitely could be a relationship falling apart. For others of you, there could be somebody here. They're going through this situation. They're going through a painful ending, healing their sadness and disappointments getting out of that stuck energy. Justice is here, so it's all about having strength. Courage, courage to get through. What message does Pisces need to hear? What does Pisces need to hear? May through June. Two of Swords again, it'll be better if you just make a decision, overanalyzing a problem, finding a compromise. So for some of you, you've got a decision to make. For others of you, it could be someone you're involved with that has a decision to make, possibly an earth sign. One more message for Pisces. Five of Pentacles, you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. So you guys really may be focused more on the negative. That glass is half empty type energy versus half full. So for some of you, if you want to manifest, you have to have positive thoughts. You have to get through that Eight of Swords stuck energy. Some of you may be stuck. Could be somebody else, but definitely could be you. So you have the card round and round. So I'm going to read that from the book for you guys. The spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated. Cycles you are challenged to break. Revising a pattern from a new perspective. So there is definitely some kind of cycle here. You guys may have gone through over and over again. For some of you, I think that's why this tower energy is coming through. It's pushing you out of a situation that's no longer serving you. Even for some of you, if you're single and it's just that painful ending that you haven't gotten over yet and you haven't worked through, you may be manifesting negative people in your life, people who aren't working for you. You may feel like you've, you've gone through this cycle over and over and you're like, when is it gonna get better? When are things gonna change? The appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backwards, the truth is, is that you're standing at a higher level, looking down on your circumstances. 
You will learn something, do something better, and break a cycle set up in the past. In that Ten of Swords, it's that painful ending of a cycle. So there is an ending here for you guys. You can actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and access the wisdom and lessons learned. So for some of you, it's stepping out of that emotional box, viewing things from a more logical perspective, realizing that that painful lesson that you went through was to build you up and give you thicker skin. The relationship message. Are you wondering, how did I get here again? Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamic with others? Maybe a little too familiar. Don't be surprised that you found yourself repeating an old story with the same kind of person who may not look similar, but who attracted you because of your easy acquaintance with his or her qualities. Your relationship is a mix of what is good and what is potentially challenging. You have been drawn to this person through the perfection of spirit's plan for your evolution. You may have circled back to an accustomed spot, a familiar place, but that's fine as you get to do things again, only differently this time. For you learned something of great value since the last time around. How will you choose to behave now that you're aware? Remain curious and stay out of the blame game. So for some of you, it may not necessarily mean that you're breaking up with somebody or ending things. For some of you, it really could be about ending a cycle with a particular person. You may have been going through the same thing over and over, and now that you have a different perspective and bird's eye view, you're able to actually work through it. So I think that is the case for a lot of you. So again, not everybody is going through a breakup or a divorce or anything like that. For some of you, it's figuring out how to make the relationship stronger, how to break old patterns and cycles. What does Pisces need to hear mid-May through mid-June? What does Pisces need to hear mid-May through mid-June? I love you. These are very important words. Whether you say this to a pet, friend, or your partner, or yourself, these are the most important words you can say. Don't hold these words in like it will take away their importance. Be willing to say I love you often and freely. So for some of you, really, it's loving yourself. For others of you in relationships, it's telling somebody, listen, we've got to break this pattern. For some of you going through issues in your marriage, relationships that you don't want to end, but you just need to strengthen. Some of you just need to drop that guard, be vulnerable, and tell the person that you love them. So a lot of different possibilities here for relationships. Singles, a lot of it is like healing, going through a healing process. Others of you with the Queen of Pentacles, possibly an earth sign, they may be going through this painful end. That tower is coming in. You're going to have to have strength to get through this with them. I hope this, guys, I hope this really resonates with you. Um... Let me know, leave comments, and stay tuned for your June readings. Those will be coming out in the next few weeks. All right, Pisces, take care.